Hey guys, Shane the Man here again, and it's Mother's Day. Uh, now, my mom had passed away almost two years ago now, but that doesn't reduce the fact that I think about her every day. I think about her especially on Mother's Day, since, you know, I can't bring her out to eat, I can't give her any presents and things like that. Uh, so I figured, what a better thing to do than to uh, do sort of a tribute video. So it's been a while since I've done a cooking video. Uh, I've done a few before in the past. I think you've been around my channel for a while. Um, so I figured I'd do a uh, video, another cooking video today, uh, cooking some authentic Cajun red beans and rice. Now this is a dish that my mom would make for me all the time and I absolutely loved it. She made it so good. I could never go out to a restaurant and find some red beans and rice that I loved as much as hers. She taught me how to make it. So today, I'm going to make that. I'll film it today, show you guys how to make it, and I'm going to do it exactly how she did it, uh, and teach you guys how to make it as well. So, come on. Alright guys, so to start off, the ingredients you'll need for this are some green onions, and we'll just use a few of these. We'll chop them up nice and fine. Some celery, again, we'll just use a few of these stalks just to uh, chop them up. We need a package of smoked sausage. Now I like to get the mixed one that's made with pork, turkey, and beef, but you can get whatever kind you like. Um, you can use some andouille sausage if you like that too. Uh, but my mom always used this smoked sausage, so that's what I'm going to use. I'm going to need uh, four slices of this bacon, and uh, we'll get to that later. I'm just going to use four of them. We'll chop, uh, fry them down a little bit and throw them into beans later. Uh, some parsley. Now I usually like to get uh, fresh parsley and I chop it up. Uh, but Walmart for some reason didn't have any fresh, so I just got this, so it should be fine. A uh, couple cloves of garlic, one bell pepper, one onion, some pepper, some garlic powder, some salt, and then one pound bag of red beans, kidney beans. So this brand here, Camellia, this is what my mom swore by. You'll find this a lot in Louisiana. I couldn't really find it around here except for at Walmart. Um, so I'm going to use these because like I said, that's what my mama used but you can use any kind of good brand of uh, red kidney beans that you like. Just get a good pound of them. Um, yeah. And then also, as a side note, we're going to need also about a, about a tablespoon or so of flour. All right, guys. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to prepare my beans. So I've dumped all my pound of red kidney beans into this strainer here so, so I could run a little bit of water on them, kind of rinse them out, make sure all the dirt's off. Make sure all the dirt's off, just get any kind of particles that might be in here, and then I'm going to pick through them. And when, what I'm doing is I'm picking through and I'm looking for any kind of bad beans. So, like, here's one that's broken. Uh, I don't really want to put that in there because it'll cook unevenly and get all mushy. Uh, and also there's sometimes some, like, brown or black looking ones in here that are all wrinkly and kind of rotten looking. Um, and I'll pick those out too. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just going through here and I'm going to pick out the bad beans and, uh, I'll come back to you real quick. All right, guys, so I've uh, done picking through the beans. I've got all the bad ones out, and I've got them over here in the strainer still. I've got a pot here filled with four quarts, or about a gallon of water, on high heat. And I'm going to add a little bit of salt to this, just to salt the water. Just so the beans will soak up the salt flavor as I'm boiling them. And I'm going to throw the beans in here as well. So what I'm doing here is I'm going to bring them to a boil. I'm going to cook them for about an hour. Now these are dry, hard beans. You can also, a lot of people like to soak them overnight in water, just a bowl of cool water, put it in the fridge or on the counter, soak them overnight. Uh, and then you can use them the next morning that way. Uh, but I didn't like to do that. I don't like to set them up. Sometimes I don't have time to set them up the night beforehand. So I'll just throw them in here, boil them for about an hour uh, to begin with, and then we'll chop up the seasonings and all the other stuff while that's going. All right, so as you can see, the beans are boiling now, and I'll let that cook for, let's see, it's probably about another 20 minutes now. Um, so for a total of an hour after they come to a boil. While that was going, I went ahead and chopped up all my seasonings as well as the sausage. So as far as amounts, and also I forgot to tell you earlier, I'm going to use two bay leaves for just two large bay leaves. Uh, as far as amounts go, uh, my mom, she's so funny, she never used to really measure anything. So everything she would go off of, she would kind of just tell me all oh, about three big spoons full of this or whatever handful of that so she would always tell me three big spoons full of all this stuff um, which was one of these kind of spoons and I've measured it out so for you guys it's about a cup of the green bell pepper a cup of celery uh, and a cup of the green onions about a tablespoon of parsley four cloves of garlic two bay leaves and a half of a large onion or you could probably use a whole medium onion and so I'm going to throw all of this into the pot uh, later on. But like I said, just being efficient while the beans are boiling, I'm going to go ahead and chop up all my seasonings. 
and I've chopped up the sausage as well. Okay guys, so the beans have been cooking and boiling for about an hour now. So like I said, I'm going to take the lid off and I'm going to start putting in some of my other stuff. So I got the sausage like I showed you earlier that I chopped up. I'm going to go ahead and just throw that in here first. Careful not to splash yourself. Um, another good thing that's good in here that a lot of people like to put in is some good smoked ham hocks. You can just put the whole thing in there and let it soak. What we're doing is we're getting a lot of this hickory smoked flavors and stuff out of this meat. Um, and so I got the sausage in here now and I'm going to let that cook on its own uh, just for another 30 minutes, 20-30 minutes or so um, before I put anything else in. And then I'm going to also scrape off some of this bean junk off the sides here that I don't need. Um, yeah, guys. And then uh, so I'll be back and uh, we'll check out some of that. Oh, and while I'm doing this, I'm also going to take my four bacon strips. And I'm just going to slice them in half just for ease to fit in the pan. Uh, and then I'll show you later on what we're going to do with this. But we'll be back. Okay, so I've had my sausage in here for a little while now. It's been probably about... I don't know, 20 minutes or so. It's not a huge deal because it's going to continue to cook in there when I put everything else in. I just want to try to get the flavors melding and extract some of that smoky flavor from the meat into the sauce and everything or the broth. Or, or In the end, it's going to end up being nice thick gravy. But uh, now I'm going to go ahead and put all these seasonings in along with uh, some black pepper. Uh, just to taste, however you like. Uh, some garlic powder. And just a little bit more salt. So, again, just a taste, so I'll probably have to check it out later on and see if I need to put more or not, but I'm going to go ahead and put all these uh, seasonings into the pot, and then I'll show you what we're going to do next. All right, so you can see I've put all the seasonings and all the vegetables in here, giving it a good stir, and then I'm going to put it on medium heat. I'm going to let it come back to a little bit of a simmer or a little low, low boil. And I'm going to put the lid back on uh, with just a little cock in it just so it has a crack for the steam to come out. And while that's going, I'm going to come over here to this pan and I'm going to start cooking up the bacon. Oh yeah, again this is hickory smoked bacon and we want to continue with the smoky flavor. I'm going to turn the heat on here and start frying this bacon down. So what I really want to do with this is not fry bacon like you're making it for breakfast. I really just want to render out some of the fat. I want to keep it a little bit limpy. I'm not going to cook it all the way because what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw it in the pot with all the other stuff and uh, it's going to continue to cook in there and get all yummy yummy. But what I really want is the fat and the grease to come out because I'm going to use that. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and start this up. I'll fry it down. I'll show you what I mean in a minute. Let me just come back and as it starts to go um, and then I'll show you what I'm going to do with the grease and, with, and the bacon and everything else. Okay guys, so you can see I have the bacon frying down, rendering off a lot of that fat, uh, but I'm not cooking it really crispy. See how it's still kind of limp? I'm going to take it out just like this and throw it into the pot with the beans and everything else that's going already. I'm going to go ahead and do that. I've already done the other pieces that I had cut up already. This is the last bit because I just wanted to show you. Uh, you can see all that nice bacon grease that's in there. We're going to use that, don't throw it away. So, I started taking all my bacon, got it in the pot. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the heat off for the grease. Take the bacon, or take the grease off the heat. I don't want it still like super cooking. It's going to be hot, but I don't want it cooking still. And I'm going to just slowly add in some flour, that was about a tablespoon of flour. Mix it around. So basically what I'm doing, if you guys aren't familiar, I'm uh, making a, what we call a roux. It's a R-O-U-X. Uh, it's using a lot of Louisiana foods. Uh, this one is gonna be a light roux, so it might, some people like to call it a blonde roux, because I'm not gonna continue cooking it until it gets brown and like a nutty flavor. The longer you cook it, the more that flour taste is gonna come out and it's gonna get a nice nutty flavor into it from the browning. Um, but that's not what I want. All I want is the thickening powers. Um, I'm not really using it for a flavoring, so I'm going to add a little bit more flour in. And uh, what this is going to do is, it's going to make a nice little paste with that bacon grease and the flour. And 
I'm gonna pour this into the rest of the beans with all the other ingredients. And as it cooks, it's gonna make it thicken. So it's gonna help me get a nice, uh, kind of a thick, nice little gravy going on in my beans there. All right, so I've added in a little bit more flour just to make it a little bit thicker. Um, all out, it seems to be pretty good. Uh, like I said, I don't want it to be a big, big, thick paste. I want it to be a nice little roux. You could probably add a little bit more flour if you wanted to, but this is pretty good. Uh, and then I'm just gonna take this and pour it right into all the beans. Yeah. Now if you did it too thick with too much flour to where you didn't kind of incorporate it and mix it a bit, you'd end up with more uh, of a dumpling thing going on in your beans there. Which is not, I mean it's okay, you can get, you can get by with it, you can just cook them out. Um, but you really kind of want it a little bit more runny so it can incorporate like this without making dumplings and thick pieces of flour. But there we have it, I have all my ingredients and everything up in here, got the bacon going, got the sausage in there. And what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to let this cook. I'm going to put it down to about a medium heat, put the lid back on with a little crack in it, and uh, cook it until the beans are soft and the gravy is a bit thick. Um, some people like it thicker, some people like it more runny, some people like their beans a little bit more uh, with a bite to them, and some people like them mushier. For me, I like them. Uh, I like it to have a nice thick gravy, and I like my beans to be a bit soft, so probably be about another two, two and a half hours of just simmering on a medium heat like this um, and it'll come out nice. Uh, I'll taste it a little bit later to see if I need to add more garlic powder and stuff but you guys want to make sure you come back periodically to stir it like this because the beans will stick to the bottom and you don't want that but I'm gonna let this cook put the lid back on and uh, we'll come back and see how it is. All right, guys, so it's actually not been two hours. It's only been probably about an hour and a half, uh, but the beans are looking good. You see it's getting nice and thick. Um, the beans are still in there, and they still hold up their shape. Um, but yeah, I, I'm liking it. I like it how it is. I'm going to go ahead and turn the heat off, put it to the side. I got some rice cooking. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you guys what it looks like all plated up. Now, I like to eat mine with either some French bread, some nice crusty French bread, or some cornbread. But I didn't make any cornbread today, so I'm just going to use some French bread. You know, some people like to make it as a side dish also to go with some fried pork chops or something, however you like to. But I like to just eat it over some rice as my main meal with some bread and butter, and it's really good. So like I said, I'll get this cooking, uh, get the rice done, and show you what it looks like. Alright guys, so I plated up the rice and I'm going to get some beans and plate that up too and so show you how it looks. Just pour some of this all on top of the rice. Get down to the bottom so the beans maybe settle at the bottom. Get some of that bacon I threw in there. Yeah, look at that. Mmm, get some of that, grab some of that sausage, get a couple pieces of sausage on there. Yeah, and then and there you have it guys, some Louisiana red beans and rice, you can see the veggies and stuff cooked down nice, the gravy is nice and thick, sausage and stuff is good, yeah guys, that's what I'm talking about right there. Well, that's it for the red beans and rice, Louisiana style, just like my mama used to make. I hope you guys like it. If you try it, try out some different stuff, different sausage, put some other smoked meats in there if you like to, or just do it like I did it, and uh, let me know what you think. Leave some comments down below, like and subscribe as always. Click over here on my face, you can subscribe. Click down here to see some more of my videos. And uh, as always guys, I love you. See you next time.